Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your October 23rd to October 29th weekly love reading. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you, so when some fall out, I'm going to use those. I will zoom this in when I'm done. Now I have to remember that time is fluid, so this could have already happened in the recent past. It could be happening this week or it could be happening in the near future, okay? So the basis of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles. Now this is intended to be a love reading, but I think for many of you, this is that you are not really focused on love too much. You may be focused on your home. You may be focused on your finances, your career, you know, anything but love this week. I just don't think that this is a week of love, okay? I think it's a week of security and stability, all right, and finances and home, okay? Perhaps some of you have had some strife in a relationship. Something could be ending or have ended because we have the tower here. And then we have like crying over um, or moping over a loss, okay, of some kind of emotional attachment, okay. But it leads to something better. But right now you may be still feeling it. So that's why you're focusing on your job. You're focusing on your finances and your career, um, you're probably thinking about how to get your life back on track, and I think that's probably what it is, is I'm going to get my life back on track. I'm not going to focus on love right now. Um, you may be just blocking it right out, blocking love right out of the picture because, you know, you're trying to bring stability and security back to your life, and you just want peace. Okay? And I see, I just see that mo most of you are probably really focused on um, home, career, uh, making money, stuff like that. Yeah, that's what it is. And I think it's because you've been hurt. Your heart has been hurt. Okay? And it's like, you know what? Why bother? I think I got other better things to do. You know, than focus on some kind of love that isn't going to work out. You know, so why just, why not bother? Why just even bother with it? And so this is for many of you. All right? Not everybody. Not out of everybody, but I just see that that your focus this week is is purely on um, finances, right? Right. I mean, that's what it totally looks like. You're just being grateful for all that you have, and it's like financial gratefulness, abundant security, and you're making sure that you don't lose it. And I think that the reason you're focusing on that is because something happened, and it, I think it probably happened to your heart. Okay. I do. I think it probably something happened to your heart regarding love that says, you know what? I got better things to do. I'm just going to get the next cards. This is the week of the 23rd through the 29th. There you are. That's you, Pisces. This could be a Leo. I mean, you could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in the picture. You could have a Leo um, in the picture somewhere. We have a Sagittarius in Aries and, and Leo. We also have a Scorpio. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, which I think I already said. But anyway, I'm going to get the rest of the cards. You're really focused on your career and, and not a commitment for many of you, okay? If you're single, you could meet somebody at some something like, you know, a bonfire or a party or a gathering, you know, something like that. You could, if you're single, you could meet somebody, okay? Just if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking to meet somebody and you get invited to go someplace where there's a lot of people all having fun, go, okay? There could be somebody there that you know, you might end up really connecting with. It could lead to happiness, where a relationship could begin, if that's what you're looking for. 
to maybe maybe at the beginning of the week the focus is all about your career and your finances and you're still uh, sad over a loss okay at the beginning of the week but towards the end of the week I think maybe you have this new feeling of you know what I'm gonna get out I'm gonna get out and do something you know maybe you decide to just beautify yourself up you know let it go and move on and you go to some commit or you go to some gathering where there's a bunch of people and you meet somebody out of the blue that could lead to a commitment in the in the end okay I'm not saying a commitment overnight but you know in the end so I'm just saying if that's if you're single um, I do believe that there's a there is definitely an end and it either happens this week or it happened already or it's happening in the near future with the death in the tower we have a major transformation here and we have the world here as well so something has ended that was played a big part in your life a big part if it hasn't ended then it's probably going to real soon because it's time for a change it's time for a new chapter something big it's like okay that phase is done over and it's time to start a new one that's what I see and I see that you're gonna be focused on the future it's like with open arms okay I'm ready give it to me now all right I'm going to get you one of these Archangel Michael cards and see what comes up. I just see a lot of happiness, okay? Oh, and you know, after, I mean, I do see that there's some sadness over a relationship. But I see in the future, you could have, you know, a commitment with somebody. If you're already committed, you know, this might be just a week that you are very abundant. Now, this is a love reading, but this could be a week where the money's really rolling in, all right? And your commitment to whoever you're with is stepping up a notch. I mean, that could certainly be the case if you're coupled. You know, it starts out, you know, just a, just like a really, really great week. I mean, if you're coupled, if you're if you're single, you're you're, you know, not happy over some kind of loss at the beginning of the week. All right, but you decide. You know what? I'm going to let this go. I'm just going to let it go and I'm going to move on. I'm going to hold my head high. I'm going to hold my head high. There's your card. I'm going to read it to you. Boy, is this just a short one. Stuff came out fast for you guys. That's all right. Some people like... Uh, shorter videos self-respect get right to the point i think you guys do like that pisces that's what i can see like i said bring it on get just come on all right self-respect dear god and angels thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love thank you for honoring and respecting me please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. And that's what I have for you Pisces for the week of October 23rd through October 29th. I want to thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Talk to you later.